guys we made it in to the long abandoned 10 years plus recreational facility for kids this part we're in right now is actually the paintball field that they have down on the main floor so they got all the original stuff still kicking around here paintball you got the vehicle sitting there the greets and everything. I don't know if you guys can see this over here. Recreate Tech. Icy. There's like a layer of ice underneath my feet right now. Battery. Oh, this is pretty cool. They had a lot of Quebec thing that light up. They had a disco ball, and they had a Texas Hold'em poker match. Pretty big location. I know in the next couple days, week if that, it'll be completely torn down. So it won't be here for much longer. In this room, the ceiling's all caving in. Paintball room. That is pretty cool though. This is pretty cool, guys. This would have been a game area where you throw the balls and you have to hit the targets down. Oh, look at the ceiling there. That is so cool. Look at this room. Old computer tower there. Wow, this whole ceiling just caved in. Probably not too long ago. And this we're heading back into. Yeah, see there was a fire here for sure. Now we're at the back corner of the paintball field.
Look at that, guys. Bowling pin frozen in the ground. There's an old fridge. So we worked our way to the next room. And this would have been like a little lounge room, I'm guessing. Would have had a pool table, pool cue holder, menu probably for what's on the drinks today. And then we come into here, and it's actually pretty good uh, condition. All light fixtures still intact, or for the most part. Ceiling, not too moldy or anything. And then we got like an actual little bar set up here. People have definitely been trashing it though. The old coffee makers. Everything left in here, including the stools. Beer banners frozen in the ground. We got poker chairs, or poker stools. Wow. Pretty freaking huge. Check it out. Paintball action. There's a Notre Dame room, I guess. Reception. Slash magazine, so the store, I guess. Where you can buy some snacks or whatever you want. Nito. There you go. Restaurant, bowling, banana zoo, mini golf, bumper cars, maintenance. Wow, it's had a lot of different things here. Old files and books. All right, so we're at the uh, front desk office area, which would be, this is where you'd come in, slide your money in, take your coupon, and then guys, like I said, this location uh, has been around for I think it's like 35, 40 some odd years. I'll try and do a little more research into it. But this room here is one of the historic rooms. The reason I say that is because this used to be a roller rink. It was a roller rink, then it was a couple other things over the years. But check this place out. Well, there's hazmat suits. Administration, doors to get out. I love the boards. It'd be wicked to come back here and play hockey in here. Oh, it's even like fur. Not fur, but like carpeted. There you go, guys. Roller skates. Somebody pushed over all the, uh, all those things. The dividers. Your 
at all the rollerblade parts, bower wheels, bearings. Here's the K2 skates. And they would have been give it the skate out, and then they would have head out to the rink. Well, I'm standing exactly at center ice. And this is what we got around us. A massive indoor hardwood floor hockey, basketball court, roller rink. A couple different names for this thing. But wow. Look at the artwork on the wall still hanging. That's a music, I guess. Yeah, tennis balls. More artwork down there, similar paintings it looks like. Oh wow guys, look what I see up in the sky. It's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's a disco ball. Look at a disco ball. Wow, that's really screwing with my head. What was that? This is pretty freaking awesome, guys. I guess back here would have been maybe some kind of hangout area or front lobby. Big giant glass windows. Or mirrors, sorry. Oh, Rula Tech. Check it out, guys. Roller disco sign. Okay, I think we're gonna go upstairs first because now we're leading on to more buildings and it's getting very, very large and confusing on where we're going. And we're gonna go up the stairs, guys. You can see the ceiling caved in here. So this I'm guessing would have been all the storage rooms and all the props and everything. Oh, they even have a haunted house up here. which I guess then would have been a giant creepy monster in that chair. Yeah, it's like all props for a haunted house. So that's what this room would have been. 
is the spooky haunted house. I gotta admit, this is a pretty cool friggin' building. Old boxes and stuff. Storage totes for props, I'm assuming. And then we got a ladder. That goes up. But I don't trust this roof or the ceiling. It's almost like a little hangout area. Had a couch up here and tables and even this old light fixture I like. Definitely haunted house style. Chainmail glove, or an imitation one at least. Here's all the setup and the stage and the props. Yeah, they really trashed this place. But again, it's been abandoned for about 10 years. Would have been a little lunch area. Apparently the devil's in the bathroom. Little cubicles. Wow, full offices just left. And I guess that's what you get when you just close her down because something happened, I guess. Alright, a fire definitely ripped through here. Look at all that. Oh, here's the stairway to get up. Might take that back down after. Oh, receptionist desk. Oh, wow, look at this floor. I don't think I'm going to be going over there, guys. If you look at the floor, see how it's separated from the wall? That means it's Boeing, and I ain't risking it. Well, we'll work our way down there after. Cool little walkway area. And an escalator down one side, escalator up the other side. Wow. So 
So this would have been the tennis courts. Huge freaking building. So this would be pretty simple, I think. Nothing too fancy. You got all the lighting systems up there going across. You got all the nets and everything. And this is all flooded and frozen. Wow, this is a pretty big building, guys. Huge complex. Giant gaming center for locals, kids. If anybody's from Ottawa area, if you know what Cosmic Adventure is or the old Gym Jam, that's pretty much what this kind of place is. What's this? Oh, fire extinguisher is sitting here. What do we got in here? Sounds like there's somebody on the roof. Big clock. These would have been all windows. But now all smashed out windows. So this is the massive, I guess you want to call it tennis court. Tennis hall. I love the lighting systems though. Those big giant tracks of lighting. This place would have been crazy. I'm going to try and find some video or maybe some uh, screenshots for you guys of what this place used to look like in its prime. And this probably would have been a little hangout area. I would have hung out here, watching some of the tennis matches. Maybe between games, come hang out, grab a drink, grab a snack. Actually, these might be, I don't know, maybe not. Look like they may have been like private rooms with each their own little kitchenette area. Very cool. Women's washroom. What is this little area? Oh, okay. So it looks like there's more tennis courts there, maybe. Oh, ping pong. This is a ping pong area. That's what those are. Those are ping pong tables. I was wondering about that. It said on the outside of the wall, ping pong. So they have netting up there so you can't lose the ball over. Oh, it's echo. You come over here and we still got some decent 
decent tables that are intact. At least it appears to be intact. Oh yeah. That, f that floor is sinking down. Look at the old tables though. Expert roller. Stiga is the name of it. Very cool little area. I can hear water flowing. So since the water's flowing, I'm pretty sure that means there's a flood down there. Look at this room. It's like all mirrors. Nothing special written on the walls for this one. Now we're in the next hall. And if you guys remember, that's the divider wall for the ping pong on that side which means this probably would have been the racquetball courts. I'm guessing. I don't know exactly how racquetball works, but it might be. I'm not too sure. Yeah, this place is massive. It just goes on and on and on. That's the bowling alley. Stairway to get down, I guess. Camera system still up there. I think we just did a massive loop around, guide. Yeah, because we came through here. We saw that sign. And then we went that way. So now we're done that way, we're going down. All right, guys. We are down here in the bowling alley area of this monster building. Wow, so this place is gonna go on and on and on. Hope I got enough battery left on this. Hey, look. It's a flamingo costume. Or some kind of bird. I think it's a flamingo. No outside drinks. Check this out. You got the high chair still there. Oh, there's the bowling alley that's seen better days. <coughs> that's for sure. This is super cool. So this is the area we just saw that we came down the stairs. These were my little offices, I guess, and repair rooms, and probably pro shops to sell bowling balls. They probably had tournaments here, get custom gloves, custom bowling balls done. Brunswick. Customatic. That's pretty cool. Customatic, I guess, custom bowling balls. And there you go. Got some old original shoes. 
You got some of the racking still. Let's work our way around. All these floor tiles are folded and cracking. Wow. This would have been their billiards hall. I guess we call it pool hall. nothing left in there except for this one table up here it looks like oh maybe not guys this is the one table I thought we only had but I guess as we go down this way that's the problem with winter time Batteries don't last too long. Check this out. This is nuts. Everything's still here. Oh, the edge of the pool table even just fell off. Look at the tiles. And then this area had a net on it. So I'm thinking maybe they use this for like ping pong. Because why would there be a net dividing the pool? Or maybe I guess just in case a pool ball flies off, this is like a dining lounge area. Alrighty guys, that is about it. Worked our way through this amazing, what do you call it again, recreation center I guess. We've got bowling alley, tennis courts, basketball court, uh, jungle gyms, pool area, bowling alley. God, it just goes on and on and on. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're gonna work our way, maybe to another location, maybe heading home. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn those post notifications on to be notified as soon as more videos go live wicked locations like this. Big shout out, Vinette. Thank you, thank you. See you in the next one. Later.